Hey team, it's Walker Dival, author of Buy Them Build, and today I want to talk about closing the wealth gap. It's one of these where, you know, if you want to make a lot of money, right, and wealth is something that you want in your life, you know, you have to ask yourself, like, what's the little thing that makes the big difference, okay? And you can go out and read books like The Millionaire Next Door and start to learn that effectively 100% of every millionaire in the United States own their own business. You can go read uh, uh, the, 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 the CEG report on uh, the state of the affluent and learn that an astounding 91% of people that have over $5 million in net worth uh, own their own business. So I, I wanna be clear though, just because you own a business does not mean that you will be wealthy. The reverse is true though. The more wealthier you become, the more likely it is that you own a business, okay? So correlation doesn't always mean causation, uh, but uh, owning a business is the little thing that makes the big difference. Let me tell you a brief story. When I was growing up, my grandfather uh, owned a, a, a feed company, right? And there was consolidation going on in the industry, and one day a bigger company came in and uh, uh, bought him out. And so he got an exit on that day. Uh, he took that money and went out and uh, bought another company uh, with one of his sons, a filter factory, okay, and ran that company. And he, and he told me, he used to tell me, the only way to make real money is to own your own business, okay? And so the thing is, is that like when I, after I got my MBA and I went out and, and tried to find a business, and I've talked a little bit about how hard that was, but, but ultimately I bought my first company in 2008. And uh, I ran it uh, from, from 2007, 2008, all the way through 2013, uh, where I eventually sold that company and um, you know, had my first uh, seven-figure exit okay, at the, at the age of you know, 35 or something, to 37. So it's, it's, it's one of these where when you own a business, you know, not only are you, you know, paying yourself a salary for what it is that you're doing, but you're also getting the, the sort of personal balance sheet benefits of it, right? Like, you know, if you buy the company with, with, with a percentage of debt, you know, you get the, the equity build up over time that the business is paying, um, uh, paying that debt down and your equity portion goes up. And so after, you know, after you've got some equity build up and you grow the company, you're not, you're, you, it, it's like put, it's active investing. It's like putting, um, a, you know, a, my, my kid wants a jet pack. It's like putting a jet pack on your job, right? So everything that you're doing, you're getting paid the salary for it, but you're also getting the sort of balance sheet benefit of it. And everyone that works in your company, um, is also continuing to add value for the customers and the clients. And by doing so, they're also, you know, effectively uh, 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 creating value for the company, okay, which ultimately you own. So, so you know, the thing is, is like, how do we, how do we take, you know, the sort of like, like secret sauce of like how you actually buy a business and spread that out, you know, to more people so that they really understand, right? And the thing is, is that's what I tried to do in Buy Then Build. Um, over time, you know, I bought seven companies and I just sort of like wrote down like what, what I did and talking to other people and how they were going about it. Um, but, but ultimately, you know, that, that, you know, you need to understand that, you know, what makes a, a good investment, okay? Because if, if, you, if you merge together entrepreneurship with investment, you get acquisition entrepreneurship, okay? And so what makes a good investment? Number one, it's going to be a good return on investment or ROI. Number two, it's going to be a margin of safety. And number three, it's gonna be appreciation and value of that asset. So in terms of ROI, we've talked about this before, there simply is not a better asset class than investing in and buying your own business, okay? The ROI can be, um, well, it is unparalleled to any other asset class, period. Uh, I've, I've talked about that in other videos, we're, we're not gonna cover that here. Um, a margin of safety, so less than 2% of business acquisitions done with an SBA loan have moved into default. And this, this goes back over decades of research. I was um, the uh, keynote speaker at the Southeast uh, Entrepreneurship Through Acquisition Conference at Duke University, and I put a slide up um, on the wall that said, you know, look, for decades, less than 2% of SBA um, business acquisitions have moved into default. And Live Oak Bank, the largest SBA lender in the uh, country, probably the, therefore the world, uh, uh, was there in the audience and actually validated it right there uh, for the audience as well, which was, which was fantastic. So the point is, is that, you know, um, um, the, the, the multiples or the valuations that you're paying for smaller businesses 
is incredibly inexpensive compared to uh, larger companies. It has to do with the amount of risk that you're taking on, okay? At the same time, uh, when you're committed and you're in there and you're working and you're able to uh, solve problems and be a, just a good entrepreneur, a good leader, a good manager and provide things for your customers, you, I gotta think you're gonna figure it out. I mean, it's a big commitment, right? And so um, we see that in the numbers as well. So margin of safety. Uh, and, and by the way, also to speak to that, usually when you acquire a company, you're buying something with a, you know, existing product market fit, right? It's not a startup. It's something that potentially has been around for decades with profitable revenue, okay? It's got the infrastructure, it's got the customers, it's got all of the things that, that, that increase your margin of safety. And number three is appreciation. So you might say like, you know, okay, I'm gonna invest in the stock market because you know, I'm hoping to get six to 8% over a period of time. You might buy a building because you want the, the equity buildup and, and you know, the, the, that, that appreciating value of that asset over time is usually, I haven't looked up recently, but it's, it's like between two and a half and 3%, okay, a year. You know, when you own a business, um, you know, the, when you're working in it, you're creating more value. And, and the thing is, is that the more value that you create, the more that it's worth. And the thing is, is that there is no limit. I mean, like, there's gonna be some limit to the market that you're playing in, but there's really no limit in terms of the amount of value that you can appreciate that company to. The most valuable assets in the world are businesses, you know? I mean, look, you look at Facebook or Apple. I think Apple is the, right? Apple's gonna be like the, 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 you know, square. I mean, look at these companies that just create tremendous value all through appreciation of the asset because people are working to do good work, okay? And so, you know, the th it, it all comes back to understanding that buying a business is something that is doable, okay? It's, it's way more affordable than you think and uh, it's the little thing that makes the big difference in terms of wealth. And so one of the things um, that we're doing at the Acquisition Lab is, you know, we're building, um, you know, my mission is to create the largest community of uh, vetted, um, educated, uh, pre-qualified, you know, financial buyers or acquisition entrepreneurs so that we as a group can learn together and search together and do better deals and frankly, help you so that you don't have to make these, you know, seven figure decisions on your own in, in your living room or, you know, in, in your office, so to speak, right? So, um, you know, by building this community, uh, we're, 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 you know, we're building something powerful and strong. And the thing is, is that like, you know, I start to think about who it is that we're teaching and, you know, who it is that, that we're working with. And the thing is, is it, it, it started to occur to us internally, like, wait a minute, we are actually helping people buy businesses. And this is the little thing that makes the big difference in wealth, you know? And so by understanding it, it's the thing that will help you have the vehicle. Like owning a business is the number one vehicle for wealth creation, period, for most people, okay? I mean, you might, you, you know, you might, have a trust fund or you know whatever in which case yeah you don't want the risk right or whatever but but for the, for most of us you know the thing is is we need a vehicle that we can drive to 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 get us to to that wealthy place so um you know listen if you want a diy solution pick up a copy of buy then build if you want to do it for you solution uh feel free to you know go out and hire a buy side advisor and be prepared to pay 150 to 200 thousand dollars or if you want kind of a do it with you solution uh, consider the acquisition lab. I'm trying to build, we're, we're, we are building something um, I think that's, that's kind of truly special with you know, instruction, group coaching, tools, and um, a vetted and strong community. See you on the inside.